Hey guys, Rock and Robo back with some more Hero Colosseum. So this is being recorded just after the Goku video deck. And uh, the Goku video deck? The Goku deck video. Uh, this time we're going for a little bit more of an irritating deck. So we've got Whis, Vados, Double Golden Freezer and Broly. So um, yeah, let's see how this... Oh god, let's double... That's Vados... We Gogeta. Oh god, that's not um, that's not particularly nice. Right, let's run with that. I'm interested to see how irritating this deck is, because we've got you lose thirty percent of your attack from Vados. You you do thirty percent less damage because of um, Weiss, and. You lose 10% of your attack and speed each turn because of Golden Freezer. And we are slower because I'm using Golden Freezer. I should have taken the 120, shouldn't I? Oh no, I've got a 100 at the end. Thank you. Although that Golden Freezer doesn't have any up second stuff on, so... <laughs> I am curious to see how much damage everyone does this turn. Oh my god. Oh wow, that's uh That's not a lot of damage. Right, come on. Let's, let's hit back. How much can we do? <laughs> we did a thousand. I mean, that's more than they did. Oh dear, this is gonna, this is gonna be a bit of a slog, isn't it? The only one that actually did any real damage on their team was Gogeta, and the only one for us was Golden Freezer. Or no, the only one for us was Whis because he got a counter. That Golden Freezer does no damage, it's the tanky version. Right, we're gonna we're gonna run that because I think I need to just keep reducing their attack. Oh man, this deck is irritating. This is gonna be a long video, it's probably just gonna be one battle, in all honesty. That's fine by me, mate, because you're losing a bunch of attack off your Ultra Instinct Goku there. I'll take the 120. Oh, nice. We got, uh, we got to go second again. Like I say, he's losing damage every turn because of Golden Freezer. <laughs> oh, my God. These numbers are stupid. I did really consider, um, instead of putting Broly in there, uh, going for Golden, not Golden Freezer, going for um, Tapion. So we're taking either Broly or the second Golden Freezer out and putting Tapion in for that heal, just to be extra irritating. Although, imagine if you had the Tapion and the double Golden Freezer out on the field. That would be really nasty. Okay. We are whittling them down. I've taken some damage to my master, but that's sort of like negligible at this point. I don't really mind that. Uh, we'll take Vados out and put um, fucking uh, <laughs> Broly in. We'll take Vados out and put Broly in next turn. Because now Broly, that, that's the thing. It's getting to turn three, which means that Broly is now hitting everyone in the front row with 11k attack. So he can now only really put one thing in the front row or else a lot of things are going to die. He 
He's got to take Vados off the board this turn, I think. I'd run the 18. I think he's got to at this point. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that was a smart play. I'll give him credit there. That was the best possible play he had, although... I'd have been tempted to put down the Gogeta in the bottom left. Oh, cool, I'll take the Spirit Bomb. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. Sorry, Mel. I feel a bit bad for that, but... I'd have put the Gogeta down on the bottom left for the simple reason that... Why not? He gets his trigger square there. Wow, the best I've got is a 210. This deck is... It's actually possibly worse than the one I showed you with Toa and Whis and Vados. The simple reason that th throwing the tank Golden Freezer in there as well... And then throwing a second Golden Freezer in there to re really reduce the damage if the other one dies is just ridiculous. I have to say, I've pulled off a bit of a Santana there by going getting a turn 3 Spirit Bomb. He's kind of known for that at this point. Like, seriously, if you play him and he gets a turn 3 Spirit Bomb, do not be surprised. It's what he does. Alright, how much are you going to do? <laughs> oh my god, I love seeing that number. Being so low. That's a shame. Broly's not going to get a hit to uh, someone else. He's going to have to take down the 18. Unfortunately, Golden Freezer's probably dead next turn, but I'll just throw the other one out, or I might throw Vados back down. I don't know. Let's see how much Broly does to Android 18 here. I'm guessing a lot. 12,223. That's not bad. That is not bad damage. I'm sorry for this, Mel, that you, you've had to be on the, the receiving end of this. Um, but you did get kind of an easy pickup against my Goku deck in the last video, so... <laughs> Even if you run Ultra Instinct Goku and Gogeta down the middle, I don't think you can kill me. It'll be close because I haven't got. I've only got uh, Golden Freezer debuffing. Yep, that's what he had to run. I think I get why he played the Whis there last turn. Now I think he didn't want to kill Golden Freezer. He wanted to lock him into that position, which is smart. Oh come on, really? I get a high number again. That's actually really worrying now because he might he might be able to beat me. Although, uh, no, he won't. We're going first, so Broly will kill Gogeta. He actually had to go first to have a chance. Can Golden Freezer get the kill here? No, <laughs> he's too wimpy. But no, he needed to go first because Broly kills Gogeta. Which means he's only got UI Goku hitting me directly. And there's no way UI Goku can do enough damage. Even if it was the attack variant, it couldn't do enough damage because he's had three debuffs now. I wouldn't have minded if he killed Golden Freezer then. I might just take Golden Freezer off the board this turn. He did a fair amount of damage there. More than I expected. Mm. Right, you're only going to run one thing in the front row again. So... Let's go with that. <laughs> oh wow, he didn't run anything in the front row. Why not just run Vados there? Spirit Bomb? No? How does he not get a Spirit Bomb that turn? Why am I getting high numbers all the time? What the fuck game? I need to check their attack stats next turn because they're, they're going to have nothing at this point. Whis is going to have nothing. 
Although he's probably going to die to battle, so... Yeah. That'd be a shame. Although, we won't kill Vados, and I don't think Golden Freezer can kill UI Goku. Nah, not quite. Uh, you know, I want to see how much attack he has, and it doesn't matter, we've got this one. How much damage do you take, Whis? <laughs> two, two, two. Get that extra hundred damage. Always go for it. I know this game's done, but, you know, that's not the point. You go for that extra bit of damage anyway. I really hope Golden Freezer can live this. I think he should be able to, considering that we've got so much defense down on there. Yeah. I really want to see UI Goku's stats here. To be honest, if you're running this UI Goku, you really don't want to be putting him in the back. Just because his attack isn't good enough, he needs to be in the on his trigger square. And then you put something like Blue Vegeta behind him. Oh god, look at that attack stat, it's so sad. Oh man, oh man, those defense numbers. <laughs> GG Mel, I'm sorry that you had to be on the receiving end of this deck. Um, but I wanted to see if it would be as scummy as I expected. And it is. I was lucky getting the Spirit Bomb as early as I did, but in all honesty, it wouldn't have changed too much. I'd have still uh, been reducing his figure's attack, it's just they'd have a bit more health right now. God, I hope I haven't been too cocky. <laughs> I should still be fine, right? If I've blown this, I'm going to be so pissed off. I shouldn't have done. His figures have no attack. I think Golden Freezer might die here, though. Yeah. I should have finished him off last turn, but... I think Vados with a counter could finish it. Nah, not quite. We should finish Vados here, though. Yeah. Which leaves UI Goku standing alone against the odds. And we have our ultimate. Uh, who never gets the ult? You never really see Vados ult, do you? And yeah, okay, let's go with a Vados ult. Never really get to see uh, the angel ult, do you? So... Let's just go with that, and uh, we'll get to see her ultimate. Go, Vados, you got this. Even if she can't kill the Master, she can definitely kill the Ultra, Ultra Instinct Goku. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Anyway, shout out to Mel for being a good opponent, a good sport throughout this. I know a lot of people probably would have rage quit against this deck because it is just really really scummy. I thought the Toa deck I built before was bad, but I honestly think this is scummier. Like, I thought that ba that deck was bad. But this one, I mean, you've got Whis. Vados, two Golden Freezers, and then Broly, like, you've got so much here between these four that reduce your opponent's attack and damage, and then you've got Broly in the back line there as turn three hits to blow your opponent away. Um, I want to do a free battle, actually. Who's got the highest attack figures in the game? I suppose he does. Alright, we'll go against Broly Full Power Super Saiyan with the deck. But yeah, I do. I legitimately think this deck is nastier. I would play Mel again, but I want to use this deck again, and I never like using the same deck against somebody twice. Because, especially with that deck, there's honestly not a lot else you can do other than what I did. Like, this is what you run. 
Also, that gold, this golden freezer is really underrated. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it has a thousand more defense than this one, and it has what nine hundred more health. Like that is a lot of protection, and it is ten slower, which may seem like nothing, but it is actually a big difference. Anyway, let's head into this. Okay, he's gonna have Beerus hitting him, so Beerus has got a lot of attack, but. Uh, he shouldn't do after this. The good thing about playing against the AI is they're always trying to go first, regardless of what figures they have or what skills. So, you're always pretty much guaranteed to go second, as long as you uh, don't roll a high number in the game, rolls a low one. I just love seeing figures that have decent attack doing no damage. Ow, that still hurt quite a bit. Jesus. That really did hurt. Like, that that's not too bad. But the other Broly, I was not expecting him to hit that hard. You don't really expect much out of him until turn 3. When his um, abilities kick in. To be honest, this is no big deal. This is first turn. Alright, how much can you do, Whis? That's not bad damage, in all honesty. How about you, Freezer? Yeah, he does no damage, but like I say, his bulk more than makes up for that, really, in my opinion. Oh, wow, he has a lot of uh, attack. Ah, uh, okay, that's not the speed variant. There is, there's two variants to Broly, like there is everything. Uh, he has one that's balanced in his attack and speed, and the other one that's attack-orientated. But still, um, you don't expect that much out of him until turn three, when he gets that extra 30% buff. Uh, what's his attack now? Uh, let's just run with that again. If I could kill that Broly this turn, that would be really helpful. Because he is scary. Alright, 130 will be enough. I was so worried it was going to go for fucking 120 or something then. Yeah, I just want to see how low I can get his figure's attack, in all honesty. Like, I might swap Whis out next turn. For uh, a Golden Freezer. Because then that'll be a 20% debuff that turn. Yeah, I'm not sure which deck is actually the nastiest. I do honestly think this one. Just because of how it functions. I may not in the future put Whis out first turn. I might go Vados Double Golden Freezer. Because you kind of need Whis to have good health. Going into turn three, so you've got adequate protection for Broly. Unless you throw Broly down elsewhere, but... The point of running Broly is that I can put him on that trigger square and hit everything in the front. Um... Let's just do that. Okay, Golden Freezer is dead, but I expected that. Um, Vados? Shit, Vados might might take a fall from this as well. I'm not sure. Come on, select a number. I've already lost the speed tie. I don't like that mechanic. I don't like the speed multiplier. I don't mind a speed... Um, mechanic in the game, or not speed mechanic, I don't mind RNG mechanics in the game, but there's just too many in this, and I don't think a speed multiplier is a fair mechanic to have randomized. Same as I don't believe the spirit bomb is. Please live, Vados. Okay, Vados is fine. She's, a, she's tankier, so... 
It wasn't until I watched back on my Tournament of Mugs games that I realised that I used two soup SRs and I used an R figure in that series of matches. Like, <laughs> I know uh, CO used... He used Ultimate Gohan in his game against Achilles, but I'm not sure if anybody else has used any SR or R figures yet. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't watched all of the uh, the sets. Oh man, look at the... <laughs> Holy shit, he's still got 10k attack. Oh man, if he goes... F nah, we'll be fine. Oh shit, he put Beerus down, why? Why did you put Beerus there, you dick? Okay, this is fine, because he's not put um, uh, original Broly on a trigger square, so that's alright. If he put original Broly on a trigger square, we might have taken a bit more damage. Okay, we live. That's fine. Because that means there's a good chance we'll kill his uh, Broly. So I'm happy with that. Wow, Vados lived. That's really surprising. I thought she was definitely dead. Uh, Broly should be dead, right? Yeah. That's the damage Golden Freezer, so... He hits pretty hard, especially for an R figure. That could kill both of them, in which case it's pretty much GG. Yep. <laughs> 13,000 I actually really like this deck scummy as it may be uh, who deserves the ultimate this time what's Freeze's ultimate in this Mel I'm sorry I'm, I'm doing other shit uh, just Emperor's Death Beam uh, let's go with Broly's then Alright, there we go. G G Broly. Um this deck is kinda nasty. If you're not prepared for this amount of um, damage reduction, pretty scary in all honesty. Like as long as you can get through the first couple turns, you're fine, because you're just reducing their attack and their, how much damage they sort of you're receiving so much. All right, how much can we do? Uh, we did a reasonable amount, but that don't matter. We've got Broly here to alt. And how much does that do? Six thousand seven hundred. I'm happy with that. GG Broly. Uh, yeah, that deck is nasty. That's kind of scummy. I don't think I'll pull that deck out very often. Uh, I get the feeling that will be a deck that comes out when somebody just needs to be taught a bit of a lesson because that is just disgusting I know some I know similar things have been done before using like Gogeta or Bardock or Super Saiyan 4 Goku in these two positions but like these are taking 10% off every turn and it's repeatable I might put in the future I might go first turn Vados and double golden freezer because they're losing 30% of their attack for the turn because of Vados, and then 10% off for each of these. Like, even if one of the Golden Freezes dies, probably this one, because it'll be in the front row, that'll still be so crippling. All opponents on the field. Yeah, I wanted to make sure. If it was all opponents full stop, that would be ridiculous. And he'd also be pretty good in my slowdown deck if you threw him in with um, Bardock. Super Saiyan 3 Bardock figures. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. This one was a little bit longer than the last one simply because decks like this take so much longer to get beaten or to beat their opponents because nothing there, apart from Broly and Golden Freezer, I suppose, nothing here really has a great deal of... Um, 
attack. Also, fun fact, I've only managed to get four copies, or no, three copies of this Golden Freezer. And yet, I've had a bunch of these. And this, this other one, that's even with N's. That's even with N version of it. I've had one R and two N versions of this Golden Freezer. It's ridiculous. I'd love to get the other five, because, I mean, then he's over 6k health, then that's looking a lot better. Anyway, thank you all for watching once again. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please hit that like button, subscribe for more of my Hero Coliseum videos, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload. And I'll see you all next time.